Contestant number nine, Joke Elliot. Just so lucky. Just so lucky. Joke Elliot. Mr. Contest Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, if I join Twitter or Facebook, I could have hundreds of brand new friends just like that. But how many of them would roll out of bed at three o'clock in the morning and come to my aid if I needed them? Probably not one. So, who can I count on? John Lau says, in his Facebook page that everyone has a best friend at each stage of their life. Only a lucky few have the same one. Well, I'm just so lucky because I have three best friends and here they are. The friends of my blood. The friends of my times and the friends of my heart. First over here, the friends of my blood. That's my family, my mum and dad, my brother and sisters, my children. This is an old friendship forged from birth, a lifelong link between my past and my future. Of course, we've had our differences, just like every family, but I'm just so lucky because we got over those. And anyway, if you can't shout at your brother and sister, who can you shout at? And blood is thicker than water. And no one is thicker than my brother. <laughs> now here, we have the friends of my times, of school days and military service and good times and bad times, of shared experience and common values. They're very important to me but you'd like them too because they think the way you do. They think, for example, that friends are the family you choose for yourself. And finally here, we have the friends of my heart, of lovers. And for me, that's my wife, Robin. And I'm lucky there too because I married a Toastmaster. And that's better thinking. <laughs> now lovers are special kinds of friends because they're not imposed on us like family and school friends. Theirs is a friendship entered into gladly, willingly, joyfully, passionately. Sometimes in the springtime of life when young blood courses through vibrant veins, Sometimes, later in life, when more sluggish blood cruises <laughs> through varicose veins. <laughs> My blood no longer courses, nor even cruises, it just coagulates. <laughs> but I can still savour the richness of life with my wife my lover, my companion, my friend, for all my days. Because you see, this friendship of lovers can last for the rest of our lives. Or it may burn with the power of a sunburst, hot and bright and brief, to fade and die, leaving two burnt out husks, bitter and twisted and scarred. Been there, done that, Got the t-shirt. <laughs> because sometimes love does fail. Without friendship, love cannot last. But with friendship, love can last forever. But like anything of value, it must be earned and maintained. And we, we could all tell a thousand stories each, nothing in themselves, but adding up together to something wonderful. So what kind of a friend am I? 
Do my friends get from me what I get from them? I've never told them, never told them the things I'm telling you, but I do freely give them advice they didn't ask for. <laughs> I do give comfort when they need it. I do make them laugh when perhaps they'd rather cry. I'm always the same. I'm always there. That's all I've got. But it's all theirs. My friends, you, the friends of my times, have now met my three best friends. But you all have these same friends. Different names, different faces, but in some form or another, these are the people who will roll out of bed at three o'clock in the morning and come to your aid because you need them. And they know that you do the same for them. Tomorrow we shall all be gone from here, scattering to our homes across the world. But before we go, taking with us perhaps some new friendships, let me just remind you that sitting next to you, right by your side, if you're lucky, may be the friend of your heart or of your times or of your blood. Reach out now in your minds and hearts and touch them. Feel their warmth. Feel their friendship, feel the ties that bind. And if we treasure these ties, nurture these ties, then we'll have all the luck we'll ever need, and we won't need Facebook. <laughs> Mr Chairman.